Hi, I'm James Glass, and today I'm going to be using a Hobart 250 uh, plasma cutter, and I'm going to be cutting 3 16 aluminum diamond plate. The project that I'm doing is for my son's kindergarten teacher. She's a really cool teacher, and I'm cutting her an apple out of aluminum diamond plate because that's pretty badass, and she's a pretty badass teacher. So I'm going to make this little plaque for her um, as a gesture of thanks for being such an awesome teacher. And this is one part of the plaque. I'm also I'm going to cut this out of diamond plate. I'm going to I'm going to cast this in a in a clear epoxy and make a nice little plaque out of it that I can present her with. And so today I'm going to use you'll get to see it in just a second the Hobart 250 plasma cutter. It's a self-contained unit. It has a compressor built in. It runs on 120 volts and it's a 20 amp circuit. And basically, you plug this sucker in the wall, ground it and you can cut metal. It will do up to quarter inch thick steel, um, although it really excels at much thinner steel. The thicker the steel, the slower the rate of cutting. Seriously, I've cut quarter inch steel with this, and in a minute I maybe make it about that far. Um, aluminum, brass, non-ferrous uh, materials cuts a lot faster, so you'll see this aluminum cut really quickly today. This 316 aluminum is, is 10 times faster than the steel. And uh, here's a few pointers for you. I'm going to be holding the tip of this plasma cutter, which looks like this, about 1.5 to 2 millimeters away from the aluminum surface that I'm cutting. If I touch the tip, it's not going to work. If I get too far away, it's not going to work. So very important, maintain proper distance. If you can't free hold this and, hand, and do it by hand, you can also put little jigs on here to kind of help you. I have a fairly steady hand, so I won't have any problem cutting this. Um, you can buy jigs that not only allow you to make straight lines and all kinds of things. You can buy jigs that will make circles. You can, especially in steel, you can drop a magnet and it's got a little wheel jig that will run in a circle. You can cut perfect circles. Um, so even though this Hobart handler is really more of a field unit, like I've used it on cars and skid steers and bicycles and things like that because you can plug it in and use it anywhere. You can use it in the shop and you can do some precision work with it even though this isn't obviously CNC, hook it up to your computer kind of plasma cutter. So 1.5 to 2 millimeters. That's important thing number one. Um, important thing number two is safety. So you take your plasma cutter out of the box, plug it in the wall, you're like, woo, I can cut stuff now. You can, and it's going to throw a lot of sparks. Not quite as much as welding, um, but it's going to throw a lot of sparks, and you're going to see them come off here in just a second. You got to have closed-toed shoes, like leather shoes. You got to have jeans. I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be taking this shirt off, which is a polyester cotton blend, and putting on um, just a cotton shirt, because uh, it could easily be caught on fire. You don't need any hearing protection. It's not all that loud. But you really do need eye protection. And in the world of eye protection, you're going to need what's called number five shielding glasses. And you can buy these number five glasses online. Um, you can buy them at your local welding store. Um, but you cannot use your plasma cutter without number five glasses unless you like retina damage. I mean, if your goal is retina damage, by all means, um, then don't use the glasses. But if you like your eyeballs, and I like my eyeballs, number five glasses are where it's at. And you can go Google number five glasses, safety glasses, uh, shielding glasses, that'll come up. Pro tip. So you got your fire extinguisher handy, you got your closed toed leather boots on, jeans, cotton. Um, you're in a safe place and we're working on a concrete floor here. Um, pro tip, you got your glasses. But old guys, um, can't necessarily see through these. So you can get prescription uh, number five lenses. That's extremely expensive. If your eyes haven't completely failed yet, like I'm 47 in February, and around 41 I started using readers. It has gotten progressively worse. I started out with ones and then one, one two fives and now one fives. Probably going to go up to one seven fives or twos soon. You can go on Amazon and buy these number five shielding glasses with these magnifier inserts to whatever you need and they run these inserts from 1 up to like 3.5 and you can plug and play these, they're interchangeable these magnifiers plug right into the number 5 glasses right, so 
I'd never be able to see my work without glasses, so now I can. I've actually got the, the, the readers right inside my number five glasses. Pro tip, pro tip. So let's, um, let's start cutting some 3 16 alloy with a plasma cutter, shall we? Hi, I have everything set up. I went ahead and, and took about a minute and a half or two minutes and cut out um, about 80% of the apple. And um, that, there's no reason in watching me like cut the whole apple out. It's kind of boring. Um, but I wanted to show you the machine, which is very lightweight. Um, it just has an on and off switch. I turned it on. A grounding clamp and the cutter. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to cut out the rest of the apple. And I'll start this thing out. If you're if you're starting out on an edge, it's a lot easier than if you're trying to start out in the middle of work. And how you hold the tip is extremely important. So if you have to be going into work and you have to be able to, if you don't have a pilot hole. You need to come at, at it with a little bit of an angle and get that cut going before you move the piece around and uh, before you move the, uh, the uh, tip around on the, on the torch head. So I've already got this started so it'll be relatively easy for me to pick up um, the line and go ahead and, and complete it. Number five safety glasses, super important. Um, for this amount of work, uh, I'm not going to need any uh, hand protection and uh, actually all the sparks are going to go down. But if you're working overhead, you're going to need full sleeves, you're going to need gloves, you need something to keep the slag from going down your back. Um, but in this case, I'll be able to do this uh, freehand without gloves. I just need the, uh, my boots, my leather boots and jeans and, and my number five glasses. Any kind of field repair, like on heavy equipment, 
um, plasma cutter body work. Um, I used to cut out spot welds uh, sometimes with, with this. Um, so you can also easily cut through automotive, anything automotive body panel wise. So um, yeah, plasma cutter. You might want one. If nothing else, um, you might need one. So, yeah. But I'll leave your wants and needs up to you. I'm not here to dictate that. I just wanted to show you how cool this plasma cutter was. Thanks for watching.